Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello, this is going to be a reading for Leo. Welcome, Leo. Welcome, Cross Watchers. Please remember that there's no way this can apply to every single Leo out there. So if it doesn't apply to you, then feel free to watch your moon or your Venus sign. And I put the birth chart information back up here. So you just need to Google birth chart in your search engine. And the dot, time you were born, the date you were born, and the place you were born. And then it will show you a lot of stuff about your birth chart or natal chart. And just go look for your Venus sign, your sun sign, and your moon sign. And then that will help you a lot. So I'm using the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. Please remember that... The masculine feminine energies can be vice versa. As well as if I'm talking about a card and I say it applies to you and you feel like it applies to somebody around you, then feel free to vice versa that as well. So I'm also using the Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck. And then I'll pull a couple Fantasy Cats Oracle and a new Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. All right, so here we go. The first card we have for you, Leo, is the cat. The cat is my precursor to love. It's usually when you're happy-go-lucky and you're not expecting love to come, and then it comes in. That's usually what that means to me. And so the next card is the world. Very nice, Leo. This tells me that you see your future. You you have a vision in your head and hopefully you're put, putting it out in the universe of what you want to come to you. And some of you are moving into a different cycle with the annular eclipse and the new year. It seems like some of you Virgos are moving into a good place. A lot of people are. So then you have Sea Kitten. Sea Kitten could be a proposal. But I feel like it's somebody young. Somebody a lot younger. So if it's not you, you know, it could apply to one of your children or your grandchildren, somebody like that. And then you have Nine of Sky. This is you being very stressed out about something. Maybe it's a proposal. You can't sleep. You, you don't want to sleep. You're really, really stressed out. You feel like you have nine swords in your back. So then you have nine of C. So you have nine of sky and nine of C. So nine of C is dreaming about where you want your life to go and the nice things you want to come to you, which is good. That would make sense with the cat in the world. And then nine of C would go with you want your cups are coming. You're going to have, oh, and look at this. This is the lovers. So, Leo, this could be a Gemini. If you know a Gemini around you, this is the card for Gemini. Or it could be um, lovers, a lover coming to you. It could be any sign. It does not have to be a Gemini. And then you have the Demon Cat, which is a couple things. This could be a Capricorn, if you have a Capricorn around you. Or it could mean a lower vibration. Somebody angry, somebody jealous, somebody mad at you for something is what this could mean. Or maybe you're mad at somebody for something. Maybe you're mad at a lover. So Two of Sky is being at a crossroad. Um, you're not sure which way to go. I don't know if there's a secret involved because you see the moon in the top of the card there. And you're trying to decide what to do. Do you go on alone or do you take a partner? So Six of Sky. Six of Sky is departure, like there's bickering going on, a lot of a lot of people bickering and arguing, and you're just going to remove yourself from that situation, Leo, and you just don't even want to be involved in it. So I'm going to pull a clarification card for this, and then you have the mm -hmm. Ten of Fire. Ten of Fire also is you feeling like you have ten swords mm -hmm. in your back. So, Leo, I'm feeling like people around you have you really stressed out. I don't know if it's friends, I don't know if it's family, I see the lover card, but yeah, you are really, really stressed out, some of you Leos. 
So let me pull another clarification card. Earth Tom. So this is good. Earth Tom is somebody or something coming in to help you. You're going to get help. So somebody notices you're struggling, which is good. And three of C, this is friends. So this is good as well that friends are going to be coming around you. And then Six of Earth. This is my generosity card. Like somebody's going to help you or you're going to help somebody else. So I feel like people are going to let you lean on them. They're going to let you vent. They're going to let you take a break and just hang out and not talk about what's bothering you and just hang out. This is the floating cat, Major Khan as well. This is you uh, being indecisive about something. You don't know what to do. And then Nine of Earth. Nine of Earth has to do to me is when you you look at your past and you want to move into the future and you want to leave something behind when you move into the future. You want to break some sort of pattern, some burden, something you want to leave behind. And you're aware of it. So then we have Eight of Fire. This is blame. Blaming somebody else. Somebody getting blamed for something they didn't do. Hmm... And the priest, the major arcana. So the priest has to do with the divine guiding you. You're being guided to everything that is happening. And some of you might have some kind of instinct within you or you feel like you knew something was going to happen or it was going to turn out that way, but you really didn't listen to your instinct because you kind of doubted it, if that makes sense, Leo. And so, oops, now I switched to the other card. I guess I didn't even realize. So this is the chariot and the chakra wisdom tarot. This is a risk of starting over. So we'll put this up here. Seems so sorry I picked it too early. So the risk of starting over. And then you have Ace of Wands. Very nice. Ace of Wands is her taking an opportunity. You have an opportunity and you're trying to decide how to use it wisely. And high Priestess, beautiful. This is gut instinct. This is somebody who's beautiful from the inside out. She's wise. She's honest. She's loyal. Very good qualities in the High Priestess. And then the Empress. Wow. So this would be somebody passing something on that they've taught to somebody. So the High Priestess and then the Empress. This is like, could be three generations right here in this reading. Maybe somebody is passing a cup of love or something to somebody younger. Teaching or something. So Four of Coins. This is some sort of blockage in your love. Something has you confused. Whether it's long distance, in a relationship, something has you blocked, so to speak. And temperance, major con as well. This is the divine guiding you. Abundance is coming. You just have to wait until the time is right. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is regret and defeat. You have regret and defeat about something, Leo. That could be where your heart is blocked. So Nine of Cups, this is you moving into luxury and reward, good karma, coming to you. The Fool, you had the Fool twice, it was the first one to come in. And if I would have not chose that extra chariot, this would have been the last one on this deck. So the Fool is just you going on about your business and your life changes and you're super happy when it does. And then you have the Devil, which you had that up here as well, Devil confirmation. So this is either Capricorn or somebody angry or jealous around you, Leo. So you have that one twice. And you have Nine of Sky, which is Nine of Swords. So wow, look at this. So you have the same identif identical cards over here that you have up here. They played out again in themselves. So that would be the Fool, Regret, and Anger, or the Devil, two times. And you have the World, 
luxury and deciding then you have risk of starting over trying to decide and luxury these cards are almost the same this is so amazing on this um, this is amazing so you have sea kitten the lover six of sky and ten of fire and then you have the empress the high priestess Waiting and four of coins. Hmm, this one doesn't really come out. So, the earth, Tom. Sorry, I'm looking at these. Nine of earth, which you did have this one. Um, Ace of wands, the priest. Wow, this is amazing. Just double confirmation on a lot of these. So, so very cool. Okay, so let me pull another one. So you have Princess of Coins. Princess of Coins is somebody who's reliable with her coins. She's very practical. She she pays her bills, and she, if she has any left over, she'll spend that practical too. And then Princess of Cups. Very nice. Two princesses in a row. So this is somebody tender and elegant. This so you have the Princess of Coins who's practical, you have Princess of Cups who's tender and elegant, you have the High Priestess and the Empress. This is a lot of females right here. A lot. Wow. Then you have Four of Cups, Temperance. And then you have the Priest. So let me look at them again. The Floating Cat. Eight of Fire, Nine of Fire. Earth Tom. And then you have Ten of Fire. So you have Eight of Fire. Wow. It is just amazing how these cars, a lot of them look like. Three of Sea. And then Six of Earth. And the Priest. So sorry, I'm just laying them out differently. I'm going to figure out how to, to get a better camera and be able to lay it out so you guys can see it. So yeah, the Priest. Someone's coming to help you. Undecisive. This is very, very powerful. Just a lot of clarification. So, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is somebody coming in, an impulsive, it could be impulsive person. He's going to say something blunt. He's going to say something very blunt, very matter of factly. He's coming in soon. And then you have the King of Cups. So, the King of Cups is a loyal person. So you have the Knight of Wands coming in to be blunt and then you have a king who is loyal. So I don't know what's going on with these two or why these two are up against each other. What's going on there? And then you have Knight of Cups. This is just amazing. This is a proposal. So look at you have Knight of Wands, King of Cups, and Knight of Cups. So I don't know if there is a child around you possibly some of you Leo that wants to get married and the father doesn't approve so the the daughter's boyfriend feel free to vice versa feminine masculine energies where they apply comes in and throws a little fit voices their opinion the dad gets mad and then they ask to marry the person could be what I'm seeing seems how it showed the younger person the lovers the generosity the priest wow Leo. So this is the sun. This is abundance, love, happiness, major con. Everything's going to turn out fine. Everything will work out. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is feeling like blaming somebody for something. Somebody blames somebody. And Four of Swords. Somebody needs to rest. Their heart is overloaded. They've been thinking about something a lot. They're tired. Overload totally. So I wonder if I should stop there because I can't go over the time limit. We're at 15, so I could go ahead and pull a Fantasy Cats Oracle, I believe, for you. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot going on there. So I'm going to pull another Chakra Wisdom. So this is Six of Coins. This is good karma coming back to you somehow, some way. Leo. And then we have the Hierophant. 
This is intuition. Things are turning out the way they're supposed to. Somebody had to pay back some karma, and this is how it's happening. And sometimes you're involved even though you really have nothing to do with it. you just used as a device, so to speak, to, to pay back karma. So the first angel and ancestor, or angel, the first fantasy cat's oracle card I have for you, Leo, is hiding, number five. Hiding means make plans, but don't announce it. Don't tell people your plans. Don't announce people you're saving money. Don't announce to people you're, you're starting your own business. For some reason, now is not the time to play your hand, is what that says. So the next Fantasy Cats Oracle is Dreaming, number three. So five and three, if that means anything to you, would equal eight. So dreaming means that stuff could be coming to you in your dreams, information, so to speak, on, on things that are going on in your life right now. So hiding means like, Observe what's going on around you when you feel it's safe. Come out. You know the difference between safe and not safe. So listen to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams is what I feel like. There's something in your dreams that you need to pick up. So I have a new deck. Um, they're called the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards. They're gilded. I really love these. See how they're shiny on the sides. So I'm going to pull a couple of these for you. So the first Soul's Journey lesson card that comes out for you, Leo, is forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. It's beautiful. Forgiveness. So the next card of lesson, Soul's Journey lessons card for you, is humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And look, it's got a Buddha in the middle. Oh. Very nice. So let me see what the book says on those. So forgiveness and humor. So forgiveness came up first. Here's what it says. Forgiveness. You can never you can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate, anger, intolerance, or blame. Every soul in your path has free will. You will have no control over that. What you do have control over is how you react to the manifestations of others' free will. Holding on to your negative energy will strengthen karmic cycles, and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love, which will attract all good things into your life. And then we'll find humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards from the art of joy. Seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive. Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. The endless chatter of this physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind. So do your best to listen to happy music, read soul-enriching fiction, and be wary of movies or TV shows that can darken your mood. Happy people attract happy people. Beautiful, beautiful. So that is forgiveness and humor for you for the lessons. Soul's lessons. Very nice. Okay, so I hope... Let me pull an angel and ancestor card for you. I haven't been doing that. So I have so many... I like the new decks, but I'll pull one for you. Let's see what comes up. Leo. So the card that comes up of Angel and Ancestors for you is Night. Be brave and honest. Very nice. So where is that book? 
Hmm, it's not over here. So be brave and honest pretty much speaks for itself. I know that this guy is is praying. He's holding his face like in his hands. He's looking to the divine to help him. So forgiveness, humor, and and be brave and honest. Those are your cards, basically, Leo. Beautiful. Beautiful for you. So thank you, Cross Watchers. Thank you, Leo. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. I'm very happy with all the new viewers. I'm happy with all the new subscribers. It's like Christmas, Happy New Year all rolled into one to me. Thank you so much, everybody. Echo Catcher Tarot.